To study the evolutionary adaptations of organisms, we went to the Liberty Science Center and examined three exhibits, Microbes Rule, Eat or Be Eaten, and our Hudson Home. In an ever-changing world, the species that inhabit it must change in order to ensure their survival. Natural selection is the tendency of beneficial traits to increase in frequency over generations because it increases the organism's chance of survival. Adaptation is a dynamic evolutionary process that allows organisms to fit into their environment. Adaptation helps species increase their evolutionary fitness, kind of like going to the gym to get stronger. Species face a lot of pressure from the environment and other species, and they must be resilient in order to survive. It's a tough world, and only the strongest will survive. Bacteria has adapted to the changing world. This is most evident in antibiotic resistance. Once one bacterium can survive in the environment, it is capable of sharing its genes in three ways to create a larger pool of resistant bacteria. Virus can transfer resistant genes from one bacteria to another. Bacteria can absorb resistant genes from fl free-floating DNA left when other bacteria die. Bacteria can share genes within themselves. Bacteria can create a home in humans, creating different illness. Because of their ability to quickly adapt to their environment, the capability of antibiotics used to kill them have deteriorated in the past years. Viruses can also adapt to their environment. Therefore, scientists are now trying to fight antibiotic-resistant bacterial diseases with viruses, which will directly attack bacteria. One evolutionary adaptation that supports survival is an armored body. Animals have strong shells to protect them from attacks from predators. For example, although the slow-moving tortoise is unable to run outrun its attackers, its shell made out of small bones and fibrous protein called keratin allows it to thrive in its environment. While hiding in their shells, they can survive for long periods of time without food or water. Creatures in the Hudson also display this protection mechanism. For example, the diamondback ter terrapin and the horseshoe crab. Although it lives in a different environment than the tortoise, the diamondback terrapin also has a shell made out of keratin. Living in the water, it is able to navigate its environment and protect itself from pollution and predators. Furthermore, the horseshoe crab have lived for millions of years in relatively unchanged form. Some biologists refer to them as living fossils. Before their 400 million year reign began, horseshoe crabs developed a number of adaptations that allowed them to survive, including numerous eyes, hard shells, a specialized assortment of appendages, and a primitive immune-like response to bacteria. Another common adaptation is for a species to use its body as a warning in order to protect itself from predators. Poison dart frogs are brightly colored and have stripes, spots, or patterns. They can be colors of red, blue, yellow, green, or black. The brighter the color, the more poisonous it is. The bright colors signal to other animals that they are poisonous and that they should not eat them. Predators learn not to eat these vibrant frogs because the poison secretes through their skin, creating a disgusting taste that can either paralyze or kill them. In this way, the body adaptations protects them from predators. An animal in the Hudson that also uses its body as a warning is a striped burfish. The striped burfish is able to make itself look large and scarier in order to scare away the danger. Striped burfish can greatly inflate their body when threatened by filling their body with water. This is done using an organ called the buccal pump. When a burfish expands its body, its rigid spines stand tall, making it look like a large burr, which is where the fish gets its name. Like a pufferfish, striped burfish have the ability to pull water or air into their bodies, expanding far beyond its normal size in an effort to deter predators. Animals that are able to adapt to their environment are able to survive and thrive. Organisms that have been able to change as their environment changes are able to survive better. Over many generations, beneficial physical and behavioral features adapt to function better in their environmental challenges. The variety of evolutionary adaptations that have promoted the survival of many animals can be seen close to home in the Hudson River.